Mongoose Born in the Dirt, 1899, full squish. It's just Born in Dirt. There's no the. Born in Dirt. <laughs> okay. Let's get into this. Sam's the the. Hope I'll pop a tire. Yeah, please. All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? This bike is offered in a small, medium, large, and extra and large. this is supposed to be a small. Now, if Mongoose listen, this will be, be a size small. Well, Mongoose has listened pretty good so far. Let's do this. You ready? Three, two, one. Get off my hand. Come in low. Somebody was over here cutting their dog's hair. We're at a campsite, all right? We're fixing to explain to you guys the situation here. What's up with the sunglasses? It's sunny. Wolf Tech Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to another Wolf Tech Videos episode. We are glad you guys are here because today is a new bike day, baby. That's right. I cannot wait to open this thing. We were talking about the price of it. We have kind of hinted, if you guys watched that Ledge episode, is it still worth it in 2024 that we just did? We were talking about hinting Mongoose was going to be sending us a new bike. I don't think we hinted. We kind of just let the cat out of the bag. We guys, just didn't say what model. The bike is here. This is the all-new Mongoose Salvo 2 full suspension mountain bike. And we were fixing to break into it on today's episode. A little bit of initial Already impressions. Broke into it. Yeah, you were broke into it. A little bit of uh, initial impressions. Uh, we can't weigh this bike because we're in beautiful Woolly Hollow State Park right outside of Greenbrier, Arkansas. And uh, we thought, you know what, let's kill two birds at one stone. Let's go camp and let's get a little bit of work done. And the, also, the other really cool thing is on the real-time review, you guys will be able to check out the trails that they've got here at Woolly Hollow State Park. It's the Ender's Fault, I believe. they got two different portions. So make sure you guys turn those notifications on so you don't miss the real-time review with the Salvo 2. Now, do you want to talk about the price? Uh, yeah, right now I believe, I don't think it's on any kind of sale, I, don't quote me, but I think it's $18.99 on Dick's website, which is, when you buy through Dick's you get a few perks. Another thing, one of the perks that we're talking about, we're looking at the website, if you order through Dick's.com, what you guys can do is you can go down the description below and check out an affiliate link, alright? You click on that affiliate link, it'll take you right to this bike. They will, within one to two business days, you order that bike, they will have a professional bike tech at Dick's, put this bike together, have it ready for you at the store, you get to buy it, and then you select what store you want it to be sent to, they put it together, there you go. Alright? It's or, free, right? Part of it. Yeah, it's, it's part yeah. of it. It's one of their perks. Or you guys can just order this thing at your front door and put it together like old Wolf Tick Videos does. Um, one thing I gotta say real quick, I know you hate this part, the disclaimer, uh, as usual, Mongoose is not paying us, there's no agreements, the only agreement is they're gonna send us a bike, we make a video or make an episode on it. We, you know, they, they, they don't care. They don't want to see it first. They want us to do it in our style, in our way. Best company we've ever worked with when it comes to bikes. Absolutely. Uh, and they, I just love Mongoose, love dealing with them. But that doesn't mean it won't be a fair and honest review. As usual, we're not selling out for nothing. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna tell you exactly what we think about this bike. So we've got the bike stand, guys. Let's cut open into this box and let's see what we get for eighteen ninety nine. Me and Wolfman been talking back and forth. You guys leave in the comments for eighteen ninety nine. Do you think this bike is worth it? Wait till you guys see what this thing comes with. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Uh, we button. don't even know what it comes with yet. I wrote, I got it all written down. Oh, to... I don't know what it comes with. Let's get so into I'm it. I'm gonna be surprised. He already knows. He's cheating. All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? This bike is offered in a small, medium, large, and extra large. And this is supposed to be a small. Now, if Mongoose listen, this will be, be a size small. Well, Mongoose has listened pretty good so far. Let's do this. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. There okay. we well, go. Right off the bat, I like the tires. I don't know what they are, but they look uh -huh. decent. Those are WTB Trail Bosses. Okay, yeah, that's a decent tire. Mm -hmm. Not a bad tire whatsoever. Okay. Oh, how about the group set? That's Ooh, a micro that's a, shift advent. X oh, okay. That looks like a big cassette. With a clutch. Okay. All right. Well, get, well, I mean, we are looking at a nineteen hundred dollar bike. Yeah, it's a nineteen hundred dollar bike. We have to remember that, guys. Yeah. Oh man. It. I'm, first of all, I'm not used to opening up full suspension at this level because this already looks so much beefier than what I'm used to. Dude, is this thing good looking? Dude, or what? I, don't, I mean, it's starting off. Oh, good. pull that tape off that. Pull that tape off that rear shock. Rear, 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 rear shock. Well, that's not tape. A that's radon foam. SR oh, okay. Suntour in the rear. Have we reviewed that before? Uh, I think we reviewed the older one. Okay, this is a 190 by 40. 190 by 40? Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, okay. all right. 
let's pull this out. Now, $18.99, guys, right? Yeah. You get a KS Exaform dropper post. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. A little dropper post action for you. Heck I yeah, mean, I man. guess we got to expect more things mm -hmm. for this. You know, we're just not used to this. We've only opened a few bikes at this price range. Yeah, absolutely. This is a 31.6 millimeter. And remember, we're going to be specking this whole thing out. Right now, we're just checking her out. Let's see what we have got here. Most of the time we open it like perfect with the front of the bike, you know what I'm saying? But right now the wheel's behind. I always want to pull that wheel out. Well, let's see if we can get that wheel pulled I mean, out. I, I don't know if you open it the right side or not, really. It depends, it depends how you look at it. I'll tell you what, they did a pretty good job of packaging this thing. Everything is zip tied and padded up for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're losing traction. I want to see what we've got up front here. Looks That's like what I'm talking about. A 180 millimeter rotor, Tektro branded. Okay, dude. What's that's the a, tire width on that? That's a 2.4. Okay, looks decent. 29 by 2.4 WTB. 2.4 is a really good all arounder Yeah, good trail tire, man. WTB Trail Boss. Feel how light that is. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. Now, if you guys notice, check out the axle or I did the, uh, the hub on this guy. That right there is a, one, a 15 by 110 millimeter. So that's a boost. So that tells you that fork's going to be pretty beefy, right? Let's check her out. Here. A 32 millimeter Suntour XCR Suntour. There we go. Boost. 120 millimeters of travel. Air fork. Air fork. Dude, All that's right. what I'm talking about. And it's going to be tapered. All right. Okay, man. we got air fork. We got tapered. We got a uh, through axle. Hell yeah. Good. Uh, we got the radon. Oh. Nice. Wow, that is so good looking. Man. You know what? Is it is it just me or I, I get I get a little bit of uh, ledge vibes off. It, it looks like a new ledge, like an upgraded new ledge. Uh huh. Salvo, Salvo two, man. Wow. Love the color combo. Dude, that is awesome. Oh man, I can't wait for you to ride this. We're gonna open her up, put her together completely. I want to show you what's inside the box first. What's in the box, dude? Eighteen ninety nine. I'm holding the box up and the bike up. Hey, we got an air fork, right? A sun tour up front. Got the sun tour right on the rear. And I'm guessing from the looks of it, an we advent? have hydraulic brakes too. It's got hydraulic brakes? Looks like it. Hell yeah. Okay, we got some pedals in here. Wow. Pedals. Aluminum pedals. All right. It's about time we got some aluminum pedals. Nice. And then what is this thing here? SR sun tour sag tool for rear shocks. Oh, that's cool. How cool is that? We'll have to use that. I, I'm I'm loving the frame design. This thing is sweet, man. I like the boxiness. The top tube definitely reminds I'll, me of a ledge for sure. It does. But it the bottom, the way it squares out towards I've, the bottom. I like it. It's a mixture of boxy and rounded. Yeah, it's good looking. millimeters of drop and I'm most likely gonna drop it all the way down to here and that reflector is just gonna get in the way so so you're just prematurely pulling the reflector you're not running it like it's supposed to be ran prematurely taking it off I'm this is, will be a mountain bike not a road bike well it is, it's not the first time being premature with something anyway no won't be the last <laughs> all right let's install this you got you recording I am recording. One thing I really appreciate, okay, now the, um, we've had experiences like with the uh, Schwinn Aluminum, or the uh, Schwinn Axum, right? Schwinn Axum Comp? Yeah. The Schwinn Axum DP, all right? They gave you the routing cable, hardly routed. You had to do all of the rest yourself. It was such a pain in the butt. Mongoose thought ahead. Not only did they give you an awesome dropper, which we're going to be talking about the remote here, but they have routed it and everything is done for you. The only thing you need to do if you're not camping and you happen to have brought some grease with you, 
um, you're going to grease up your shaft here. They've already routed everything, so you just run that. Actually, I'm going to do initial impressions, and we have no grease. Like so. Look at that. And we got to tighten up the clamp, and we're good to go. Is that awesome or what? That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's very nice. I appreciate that. The only thing I am not digging, we'll see. Let's scoot this back over real quick, this remote. I wanted to scoot that remote over so I'd have some room just to be sure. Okay, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Let's see. It won't get twisted up in the game. You might okay. as well take that reflector off. Oh, I'm going to. What I was thinking was this right here, the remote mm -hmm. was going to be super long. They did give you some little end ties here. We'll probably end up zip, zip tying this stuff up here. Um, would like to be a tad bit shorter, but it's already routed, so that, that's a big plus. All right, we're almost done building this bike. <laughs> So the second take on the second take pressure. guys first take was just no damn volume But you guys missed a whole bunch of kid laughter and all that all that real sweet stuff you get in life But here we go. <laughs> we have got the salvo 2 put together now before we start talking and specking this thing out I wanted to mention I forgot to mention earlier this bike is $18.99 You guys can check out that film links in the description below if you guys are interested in this bike, right? We've talked about that, but if you guys are going $18.99, maybe a little bit much, and want to spend about $400 less, they also have the Salvo 1, also a full squish, and it's $14.99 right now. So pretty interesting. You guys can definitely go on and uh, check out the comparison. The there are some. There are some comparisons. Uh, both of them have hydraulic brakes. The Salvo 1 does not have a dropper post. It has a different wheel set. Um, this wheel set here is tubeless compatible. Yeah, that's right, tubeless compatible. That one's not tubeless compatible. Uh, different tires, uh, plastic pedals. The fork? Uh, the fork is a coil fork on the Salvo one, and this one here, uh, you've got the air in the front, you've got the air in the rear, but the Salvo one does come with the same shock in the back. Okay. So there are some changes. Oh, also group set, that's gonna be a change up as well. But you guys can check out- like $400 worth of Oh, difference. I think so. I think they've done, I think they've priced these bikes out right for what you see in today's market. Yeah, that's why I was saying well, I'm pretty excited about it. When we get to the it. end, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about it, but I do also want to say, we will put the Salvo 1 in the phone links in the description below, guys. So maybe you guys can put a couple okay, of web pages up and jump back and forth, okay? So if you guys wanna check it out, $14.99. Um, so uh, full suspension, full squish. Again, you guys get in small, medium, large, or extra large. While we were putting this bike together, the headset is a 44 to 56, and it is a non-sealed bearing. It's yeah, open bearing, bearing design. I think they call it retainer bearing. Good shape, but uh, not enough grease on not the Not enough bottom. grease on the lower cup area, yeah. but the upper cup did have some grease. Again, we're gonna take this thing back to the shop after the real-time review, because we're gonna real-time review this thing tomorrow. We will be doing some grease up on pretty much the whole thing. That's right? when, we, when we do the maintenance, we'll record that, we'll get the weight, and maybe we'll do some other stuff on our Yeah, we'll make sure we get the weight and all that as well. So that's kind of up in the air. Magnet test, frame. Is a, oh, I don't want to scratch whoa, 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 it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, it's frames I aluminum. Easier... Well, what the, where was that then? I had it out here waiting for you. Then. Front triangle is aluminum. <gasps> Little pivot action there is aluminum. The frame rear is aluminum. Is aluminum. Uh, All rear right. Triangle. If you guys want to know the rear triangle, it is actually tectonic T2 aluminum. All oh, right. Wheel set is aluminum. The spokes are stainless steel, 14 gauge, 32 spoke, fork aluminum. Uh, the bar, the stem is going to be aluminum, and then the dropper is going to be steel. Uh, hey, the we got. Steel? I'm pretty sure it's stain. I'm pretty sure it's steel. No. Maybe the housing is steel, and the seat post itself is aluminum because that's aluminum. Wow. I wonder how much this thing weighs. How about the crank set? Yay! Crank set is aluminum. Chain ring is steel. The cassette back there is steel as well. All right. Let's get into specking this thing out, guys. Pretty sweet bike. Again, $18.99. I want you guys to answer the comments. Is it worth it? Would you guys get the Salvo one if you're looking for a full squish? Or would you guys buy the Ledge? All right, because the Ledge right now is it's up there. I, I like the Ledge. Ledge X1. I like the Ledge. So the uh, frame on this bike is going to be the Tectonic T2 aluminum, 29-inch trail geometry. All right, we've got the uh, rocker link suspension, internal cable routing all the way throughout. The rear has 10 millimeter by 141 millimeter dropouts. And uh, tapered head tube again, 44 to 56. All right, so if you guys are wanting to maybe just upgrade your headset because that's a hell of a fork that this thing comes with already. You know, I don't want to say hell of a fork, we have yet to try it out, but yeah. you got an air fork up front. I haven't jumped on there doing dyno yet. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about the front of the bike. The fork is an SR Suntour XCR 32 Air Low R, 29 inch. We've got hydraulic lockout, rebound. It's uh, it, it. It's 15 by 110 millimeters, okay, so you have a boost through axle. 
the thing I don't like about it is down here you guys can't see the rebound knob. Of course, I'm going to show you guys some B-roll, but there's no clickage to it. It's just like resistance feeling. I don't know. I don't like that because there's a lot of play on both sides of it until you get to like either full or low on it. But it's just I don't like the resistance style. I prefer clicks. I prefer clicks because I want to know where exactly I'm at and then what the middle ground is. So uh, we've got that. We do have the lockout up front. Um, we are going to check the air. Can you grab that? that air gauge over there, the fork pump. All right, guys, we're gonna check this pressure that this fork comes with. Knobs are plastic, not the greatest, right? But we've got 100 PSI on this. Now, one of the downsides to the uh, fork and the shock, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now, is there's no compression rings on there. So the cool thing is they did send us the um, the SAG guide for the rear shock, but as far as the front fork's concerned, no compression ring whatsoever. That's kind of a bummer, because on real-time reviews, I want to show you guys that camera shot. You know, you at least get a little bit more of an idea of what the travel looks like. Now let's go and talk about the rear shock. It is an SR Suntour Radon R, 190 millimeter length, with a 40 millimeter stroke, air shock, and it does have a rebound. Thing looks super sweet, but again, there's no guide to it, but we do have the SAG chart that they sent us. But the bummer is there's just no uh, there's no compression ring on there. Like, I got this thing with compression rings, you know? I guess with this would be a lot easier because we could actually take apart I, I, the rear and just stick a rubber rear. band or something on there. I, I don't like care about the rear shock so much. It's the, it's the, the fork that bothers me. The fork? Yeah, that, that bothers the crap out of me, too. Uh, while we're talking about the fork, let's go and talk about the tires and the wheel set things that this thing's got hooked up with it, okay? We were putting this thing together, and luckily I noticed the lettering with the WTB Trail Boss up front. This one's grayed out. The one in the rear is actually white out, all right? So they're both Trail Boss, but the difference is the front, you're going to be rocking a 29 by 2.4 inch tire, and on the rear, it's a 29 by 2.25 tire. But the tread, the lugs on there look pretty good. There's a little bit of gapage in between. I'm not crazy about it. We talked yeah. about the Kenda MRAX here recently, but um, I don't know, they're good looking tires. And the nice thing on the rear is the dropouts, or I'm sorry, the uh, the chain stay. There's actually some room back there, maybe to go up to a 2.6 before you start rubbing on that derailleur, uh, that derailleur cable there. So maybe a 2.6 we can rock out with this thing and definitely at least a 2.6, 2.8 on the front. Uh, now, something that's super exciting, we've talked about it just a little bit when we mentioned the Salvo 1 versus the Salvo 2. The Salvo 2 comes with a WTB STI-30 wheel set. Internal diameter is, uh, or internal width is 30 millimeters. Okay, so we can run a pretty fat tire on that thing. Not sure what it recommends, but the cool thing about this wheel set is it's tubeless, compatible, it is ready to go. So you've got your tape in there. Well, I don't think you've got any tape in there. You'll need to buy tape, you'll need to buy some sealant, you need to buy some tubeless valves, and also some tubeless tires. But once you get that, you don't have to buy a wheel set anymore. Like, it's all sealed off, so there's no no gappage, there's no uh, seams or anything on it. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. All right, now let's talk about this group set. This is an awesome group set. We've had Micro Shift uh, Acolyte, we've had Micro Shift Advent. I don't think that we have had a Micro Shift Advent X that has the clutch on it yet. So that's pretty cool. So either. Yeah. I don't think so. So this group set is a one by ten. We've got a 30 tooth round steel narrow wide chain ring up front with 170 millimeter pro wheel crank arms, and then we have got the Advent X by Micro Ship with the on and off clutch in the rear, and that massive cassette and even bigger dork disc is 11 to 48 tooth. All right. It's a massive dork. Yeah, 11 to 48 tooth. So uh, I can't wait to get this thing on the trails. I was gonna say hardtail or whatever, but I forget it's a full squish, so... Oh, that's a bummer. What? That'll be in the positives and negatives. No lockout? There's no lockout. That'll be in positives and negatives for sure. Uh, so we got the 1x10 there, and the cool thing is you have a sealed bottom bracket. It's a 73 millimeter. Now that's something that's a little interesting. On the, uh, you know, we get all these marketing deals and all the information and uh, different points on bikes, right? Whenever a company sends a bike. This one here says a 73 millimeter uh, bottom shell. But on the website on Dix, it says the 68. So I don't know what size it is. All I know. Well, isn't that the range 68 to 73? It's a 68 to 73. So I know some of you guys are going to go, well, I looked on the site. We have it listed for 73. The site has it listed for 68. But what I do know is you can get like an IXF crank set, right? And that will fit on the 68 to 73. Yeah. So any, any, pretty much any crank set that we've installed on the channel. So that's always good so news. So that has a cartridge. Yeah. But it's, it's still a square tape. Yeah, it's square tapered. So that's one that only knocks so far, really, as far as, well, that, well, we'll get to that at the end. Yeah, we, we're going to do positives and negatives and who this bike is for, okay? 
Um, so far it's looking like this bike's just for me. All right, so <laughs> let's go and talk about the uh, bar and the stem. The bar is a 760 millimeter bar with mongoose lock on grips. It has a 15 millimeter rise on it. All right, um, which I think is a good medium. I'm tired of these bikes coming out with 720 bars um, and then thinking that there's actually something there. I like that this is actually a 760 wide enough. Uh, we got a lot of trees here in Arkansas. Maybe a 780 would be just a little bit too much, but we'll see how it is on the real-time review. I like that's a 760. Again, lock on grips, and then we have an exposure 45 millimeter stem with a 70 or with a seven degree rise, and it is a four bolt and it's aluminum. So that's pretty cool up there. Uh, we're going to start talking about the brakes now. What are you doing over there? Liqu uh, liquid IV. Wolfman's in the truck. Now let's talk about these brakes. These levers are some of my favorite levers, and it's just maybe they were taking notes. I don't know. Maybe they're like, hey, you know, Wolfstick Videos, they're a big fan of the Mongoose Ledge. Maybe, um, maybe those M275s, those levers, maybe we need to throw those on the uh, our new bike. All right, and so they did. They gave you some Tektro M275 levers with some Tektro M285 hydraulic brakes. Okay. Also, the calipers are. The calipers are, yeah. Levers are 275s? Yeah. So wow. pretty cool. Two piston hydraulic brakes. That's awesome. Again, you start talking about spending close to two grand, and then you start start seeing what you what you get for the money. Leave it in the comments. Is this a bike that's worth buying for a full squish? Well, I know what Which, that, by the way, it looks. I know what that third episode when we get the weight and we lube it up and everything. I know what we're going to talk about during that. We're going to do that, and we're going to bring up some more questions. Well, I think we should not only bring that, but I think we should. I think we should read some of the best comments regarding this bike we're on not. that. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Um, so that's the brakes, and the cool thing is uh, you get Tektro branded uh, rotors, and the front rotor is going to be a 180 six bolt, and the rear is going to be a 160. Okay, so we've got that handled there. Um, let's talk about the seat post tube and it being a dropper post, and then we're going to go into the uh, standover, and uh, we're going to do a Wolfman Dino action, maybe a little Tick Dino action too. I'm not sure yet. All right, so the seat post is a. KS dropper seat post by uh, KS Exaform. It's the KSP 900, 445 millimeters overall with 125 millimeters of drop. Remember, this thing is internally routed, so everything's nice and hidden. For the most part, um, 31.6 millimeters. So we've got that. Um, man, um, as far as the initial impression is concerned, I think this is a sweet looking bike. The tires look good. I love that you get an air fork and an air shock, uh, the one by 10. And they give you a clutch, hydraulic brakes, dropper post. Man, I'm just in love with this thing. Let's uh, let's do a shift test real quick, guys. Let's do a standover. We'll do the Wolfman Dino, and then we're going to talk about positive negatives and who this bike is for. All right, guys. <clears throat> Here we go with the shift test. Haven't we, adjusted anything. Yeah, I haven't have adjusted box. anything. One by ten. Okay, right now we're in second gear. Go up to uh, or go down to first gear. Eleven. Oh, oh that was. Oh, that was. Look, guys. If this, I mean. Look, oh, after you what we've know. been through lately. Whew. You guys are ready to know. All right, so we're in first gear. You ready? Yep, second gear. Uh, okay. Uh, Third. Fourth. Oh. Fifth. <laughs> sixth. I'm waiting for something. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Wow. Tenth. Dude. Okay, this might be wow. the best out of the box shifting that we've ever had. Wow. Okay. That's so smooth. Ready? Hang on. All right, go I'm ahead. I'm going to do one clicks at first. Okay. One click. Ninth. Eight, seven, seven, I wasn't a six, fifth, fourth, Oops. third, second, well, second. I can tell you this. It's a little first. weird. and not doing full pulls. How about oh. that? Oh, oh, watch out. All right, okay. you guys start freaking out. I'm gonna out. go back down. I'm gonna go back down real fast. Pedal it. I'm gonna go back down real. I mean, I'm gonna go up real fast. Ready? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're dropping now gears I'm pretty full quick. Pulls. Ready? Okay, go ahead. So that was from 10th to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4, 2nd, 1st. Dude. Man, talk about being in a pinch and having to get some out climbing of out of the way. Box. Ouch. That is amazing. I mean, wow. that is like, that's sharp, buddy. All right, hey, let's do some standover. Let's do uh, Wolfman Dino and who this bike is for, positives and negatives. Wow. Let's get this dropper put down. Dropping. What happened to that guy? I don't know. Man. I don't know if he still does videos or not. All right, guys. Size small, frame. Okay? Remember, they got small, medium, large, and extra large. But all of them come in a 29er. Let's see how the standover is. I'm in flip-flops. Standover is a little snug due to the position of the Am I allowed to tube. look down here? Yeah, you can look down there. Oh, thank right. you. Okay, that's enough. 
Mm. Now, most people I'd pay for that. Um, <laughs> a little snug right there, but what I do like is with this dropper all the way down, again, I'm in uh, flip-flops, but with this dropper all the way down, I can touch the, the, the ground while I'm on the seat, so that's always good. Um, wow. This thing feels ready to go. The only thing that's a little off right now, wow, it's, it's really comfortable up here, maybe because I'm used to the gravel bike, but the thing that feels a little off is maybe we could get one of these, uh, maybe one or two of these spacers and put them on top of the stem and right up underneath the stem cap because it almost seems a little up. Upright. Really? I don't know. I think you'll like that when you're riding it. You always say that. Yeah, because because I'm usually right. Did we mention it's got a 67 degree head tube angle? I think you did. I think I did. Anyway, I'm 5'5". Five, five. Size small is definitely the right size for me. Hey guys, look, I forgot to set the rear, or I forgot to tell you guys the pressure on the rear. So used to not dealing with um, full, full suspension, suspension bikes anymore. It says the max PSI on this thing is 300 PSI. 300. It's got 100 PSI in it, so you guys know. So we got 100 in the rear and 100 in the front. Wolfman Dino. All right, guys, everybody's favorite. A little bit of Wolfman Dino. Right now we're full open, and I believe the rebound is at its fastest. Again, it does not have clickage. So go ahead. Let's do it. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's a little, it, it, I have to say it. A little tight. A little, little tight. We well, need some lube on that You thing. normally run at, what, 70-something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I usually run around 70-something, and most of the time when forks do come in, they're around 75 to 80. So does that feel... It, it feels so a little tight. around 100, but we usually run it at 70. I think you run at 77. But for the real time review, I want to um, I want to put some fork lube on. I might do it now. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's. I, I I guess I'm gonna guess we're gonna go halfway. Okay. I wish this was better. Okay, go ahead. Slower on the rebound. That definitely helps. Did it? I can. I, I can can't feel. Wolfman can. I can. All right, go ahead. No? Can't really tell. Okay, slower. Yeah, now, now I can feel it. Now you can feel it? Yeah, I can feel This it. is a hard dial to deal with, man. Okay, that's slow, go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. we can hear it now. Okay. Yeah. That's full slow. Yeah, okay, that's, so. that's, that's decent. Let's turn it back up, give her another, another pump. Okay, that's yeah. probably halfway. Now yeah. we're gonna lock it out. Go ahead. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh. You get to see your face. You never get to see his face. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that, that, is it called a lock? Yeah, it's it a lock Okay, it passes the test. It feels pretty locky. Take your pressure off the front real quick. Um, let's get it, let's, uh, let's do a little Wolfman Dino on the rear, guys, and just show you guys what it's got. We'll do the rebound test. All right. Okay, guys. We're right here with the, uh, the test. We're going to put this thing as fast as it'll go, the fastest amount of rebound. I'm not a rebound man or a full suspension guy, so I'm going to take a guessy guess here, and I'm going to say that's full. All right, go ahead. Yeah, that's full speed. Okay, a little pogoey. A little pogoey. Okay. About six clicks. Go ahead. A little more control. Drop it like it's hot. Another six. Jeez. Nice okay. pogoey. That's about six or seven. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Now I can feel Roll it. Roll it forward a little bit. Okay. Right there. Okay. Now. All right. That's full slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Can... Yeah. 100 oh, PSI. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Okay. So that was 100 PSI right there. What do you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the rear might be okay for you. Um, the front's too much. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll dial all that in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get to a little bit of who the spike is for, positives and negatives. And then the only thing you'll have to do after that is hit that like button, subscribe button, turn those notifications on. The Selvo, too. All right, guys, well, let's talk about this, positives and negatives, and who this bike is for. First of all, I'm going to start out, um, I'm going to kind of keep it short. All right, positives. I think the price is a positive on this bike. You get everything that everybody always goes on our channel, more of a budget channel, right? We told you guys we're going to start introducing some more up or not, uh, upper echelon bikes, okay? For well, $18.99, the, the everybody always it's just everybody always says, Oh well for this price you could get this or you could get that. Air fork, air shock, tubeless compatible wheel set, dropper post, eighteen ninety nine. 
Like, and look, guys, I'm not trying to sell you on this bike. I just think it's hell of a deal. Because you, because, it's all aluminum. Yeah. Well, well, that that you kind of messed me up on that comment. But anyway, the the one thing I think about though is I go, okay, well, this bike is essentially 1900. So is this bike at 1900 better than buying? Mind you, if you like to work on your bikes, is it better than buying a Ledge X1 for 500 and putting another 1400 in, uh, into it? Mm -hmm. See, then you guys start going, I don't know. Yeah, so my, my negatives are going to, or my positives are also going to be um, all that that comes with everything. Uh, I really like that the lever on this thing, if you guys notice, it's an actual remote style lever that sits up underneath the bar and not on top. A lot of times when you buy KS or any other droppers, they come with those ones we just talked about in the install, they break off, right? So it's nice that this one's actually hidden up underneath the bar. It's more sleek. I like that easier to get to. Um, I also like, and we've talked about the way that they've really routed it for your dropper, your internal dropper. I like that um, it has uh, some of my favorite brakes on there, at least the lever is M275s, uh, and it's got the 85 hydraulic brakes. Well, you like both 85s and 75s. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of those. Um, that's uh, that's going to be my positives. Well, my I mean, the bike seems super light, and I love that Subo's compatible, you know? Okay, my positives are A, the looks. B, uh, the components it comes with, I think really there's no need. Everything here, I think, is everything you really need. I don't think there's anything you really would have to change out of the box um, to enjoy this bike at a pretty high level. Like, I mean, we're talking, I would, I think you're going to be fine taking this down a black diamond right off the bat. I think so. And really, the whole bike's a positive. It's hard to point it's out hard. positives because it's a positive. I have to pick, nitpick the negatives yeah. okay, because well, the positives start, are so much. Let me start with my negatives real quick. The fork doesn't have a graph on it. Um, we go by graphs all the time, you mm -hmm. know, um, at least to get a good starting well, point. Well, uh, to me, the graph's not a big deal. I wish it had a compression ring. And everyone says, oh, you can use a wire tie or you can yeah. use this. I ain't I'd rather that. just have a compression ring yeah. on it. Um, so compression ring would be nice both on the fork and on the rear shock or on the shock back mm -hmm. there. Um, I think that would be nice. Um, For the price, I'd like to see better pedals and see lock on double lock-on grips. And I would like to see a hollow uh, crank hollow crank hollow bottom bracket yeah, yeah. That, that's a good that's good thinking something i do like is the uh, dropout back here that sucker's hidden. oh i do like that's a one, was it 141 dropout 141 yeah by 10. Mm. um why i was saying was i like the derailleur hanger the way it's designed it's super mm. sleek man it's gonna be hard to break that one off <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes that's cool um not really a lot of negatives with this bike uh now given uh, you know we still have to do the real-time review and that's yeah, where a lot of the that's where the rider really comes out and just giving you guys the best perspective as to what to expect and how things feel. I try my best to relay to you guys how it will feel if you were to own this bike. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. It might be uncomfortable. You never know, you know. Um, but uh, pause and negatives. Now, who's this bike for? Well, this bike is definitely uh, for that person looking to make the, the person that does not do upgrades to their own bike that's looking to make that big step up from like say a Ledge X1. Because this is this is basically a Ledge X1 on a lot of steroids, or an X2 yeah. even. Yeah. Ledge X2 is this 29. The real-time review will show a little bit more, but I think this bike might be good. I would like to see a little bit better pedal with some replaceable uh, pins. Oh. And I'd like to see the lock-on grips. Lockout on the rear shot. And lockout on the rear shot. Full suspension guys, I've ridden bikes with yeah. no lockout in the rear. It's a pain in the ass. And the thing that sucks is out here, uh, the Ender's Fault that we're going to be doing the real-time review on. We're going to film that tomorrow, matter of fact. A lot of climbing. This is a lot of damn climbing. It's constant climbing. It's constant up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's going to be very interesting. I'm going to be uh, milked. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. If you guys want to see uh, the, um, get a little bit more information, maybe you guys want to uh, actually look at purchasing the bike. Remember, you guys can get it purchased. If you have a Dix and you want to help support the channel, we do make a small percentage off the affiliate links with it goes this. goes right back into the channel. But you guys will be able to buy this bike online and go, hey, I want you to take it to my store in Tennessee, have that bike built by uh, one of their bike pros at Dix Sporting Goods. Why could be then, Tennessee? Uh, I don't know. It could be, it could be uh, Kentucky. Wherever you live. Yeah, California, Maine, Pennsylvania. Anyway. Is Dick's all countrywide? I don't know. They should be. Uh, you guys can do that, and uh, we get a little bit of love in the in the meantime. But if you want to check out the Salvo 2 or you want to check out the Salvo 1 and do your own comparison. Yeah, we'll put both of them on there so you guys can look yeah, at it. Yeah, make sure you guys check that out. But very cool of Mongoose to uh, just say, hey, you guys want to try Dude, some bikes out? Here you a go. A company has to have some confidence in their product to send it to us without a contract. Guys, hardly and any questions asked. I'm telling you right now, I can't name names, 
But I can tell you this, there's a lot of companies out there that don't have the guts to give us a bike with no contract. Yeah. They want to control the narrative. We just got done with Mons, a very big with a very yes. big bicycle company that When we got to the end of it, now. it ended with, nope, we About will not sign emails. a contract. Yeah. We will not do that. We will not agree. You're not going to look at it first and, and uh, approve it. Mongoose says, we don't need to do that. We trust our product. We trust that I think you guys Mongoose, are going to be happy with matter it. Matter of fact, last email I said, hey, thank you guys for just being easy. And yeah. he was like, hey, no problem, man. That's you right. Know, I'm telling you. the bike. So, anyway, I'm telling guys, you, that wins me over. Yeah. Uh, we will see you guys on the next episode. And be on the lookout for the real-time review when we take this thing on the trails. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, again. Later, guys. Yeah.